Welcome to the future. PBS Digital. No longer need we bow to outmoded models of the past. A new art is springing from its own environment, typically American. Mr. Wright is lifting the face of a nation, making its buildings reflect the soil and spirit of a great people, putting comfort, happiness, and beauty into their habitation. Frank Lloyd Wright was once quoted as saying, he didn't want to be known simply as the greatest architect that has ever lived but is the greatest architect that ever will live. His personality was an intoxicating mix of arrogance and charm. But it was the genius of his work that spoke the loudest. Frank Lloyd Wright was possibly the greatest artist in the world of architecture that America has ever produced. He, he profoundly changed the way we think about architecture. He created a whole architectural vocabulary that was his own and that has a more profoundly American quality than almost anything else. But his genius was often overshadowed by scandal and tragedy. And for 30 years, he looked to his most trusted friend, greatest patron, and client, Darwin Martin, who supported him when no one else would. Just that idea that he was there to help as a support for my grandfather, I think, allowed my grandfather to keep going, to keep going, and uh, not to give up on the architecture. Darwin was there to support him. This is the story of an unlikely friendship that played out in Buffalo, New York, a city that, at the beginning of the 20th century, was one of unbounded wealth and unparalleled architecture. It was here, over 100 years ago, that Wright designed an estate for Darwin Martin, a masterpiece he would call his opus. Presently, it's undergoing a restoration that will return it to its original condition, just as Wright designed it. And as new walls go up, the story of Darwin Martin and Frank Lloyd Wright unfolds, revealing a friendship that would have a deep and lasting effect on the architectural landscape of America. This is Frank Lloyd Wright's Buffalo. <laughs>